Today, I want to tell you that as you grow in your faith and you are getting tested, the consequences are going to seem major. Let's talk about it. What's going on Closer to God Ministries? Welcome back to another Righteous Spirit episode. Today I hope to help you get closer to the truth, closer to the kingdom, and closer to the will of God. Hallelujah, amen. We got to give him all the glory, all the praise, all the honor because he is truly deserving of it. Man, if you don't have a relationship with God, then you really don't have to worry about this because you're being tested even though you don't know it, but you in your point of not really having a relationship, you don't care about the outcome. But when you live your life based upon you wanting a better relationship, you trying to grow your relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you definitely, you know, think about all the time, are my actions pleasing to God? What can I do better tomorrow that I wasn't able to do today? Let me ask for forgiveness for the things that I failed at today and let me pray for strength to be able to endure them tomorrow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cut the video, cut the music. I need to talk to each and every one of you. My YouTube analytics show that only 38% of you guys are subscribed. If you truly want to support the ministry and help me beat this algorithm, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button because over 70% of you guys watching my content haven't subscribed. This is like me inviting you to my house, eating dinner, saying you're welcome anytime, and you not saying thank you. Please hit that subscribe button. Help me beat this algorithm so I can get this message to somebody that needs to hear it. Roll that beautiful bean footage. In this, man, as you get tested and you realize that you're being tested, a lot of times when you have real faith, I want you to understand that in order to step up on your faith and to take up your cross on a daily basis, you're gonna have to disobey the orders of man. See, there's things that I have said on this YouTube channel that because it's not the truth that they want everybody to believe, you know, there's certain things that, you know, right now are part of my life that I could lose. There could be consequences that could be major. But when you think about the power that God has for you to be restored for whatever you lost, through your enduring the test, you're gonna have a testimony at the end. And I want you to understand that when you seem like you're pushed against the wall, you're having to go against your faith, go against your belief, I want you to understand that man doesn't have the power to restore your peace, restore your joy, God does. And in doing this, you're gonna face great controversy as you stand trial. As you stand trial, the consequences are gonna seem extremely major. But I want you to understand that God is the only thing major in this world. Everything else is minor, no matter how major they may seem to us. God has the power to make them seem minute, to handle them in a moment's notice, in a split second. But we spend a lot of time, you know, thinking about these things. And this is what ultimately leads us to disobey God's will for our life. And when you face your judgment, you know, you're going to have to answer and take account for the things, the actions, the choices that you made in your life. And just because you live your life by all these different truths that don't even matter in the end, that's not gonna be good enough to get you into the kingdom because you don't have a relationship. You don't even really know his name. You don't acknowledge the power. You know, you're doubting more than anything even though you claim to believe while you were here on this earth. And I want you to understand that there will be great rewards, there will be great blessings for those that stand up for the kingdom, that those fight to protect the kingdom, those that go out there and try to recruit people, to save people, to have their lives, you know, renewed, to have their hearts renewed, for them to be able to live in forgiveness, live giving love instead of hatred. There will be great rewards and great blessings for those that are willing to do that and that have been threatened 
with losing things that seem like major consequences. But the only thing in this lifetime that will ever be major is God. Everything else is minor. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out the link in the description because I'm only shooting it gun barrel straight. Wow.